I'm going to show you an enlarged plan. Get into some of the dimensions, which uh, let's see if I can focus this. Separate uh, plan. Let me get a bit overall statement. I might have to get back into the, uh, the actual dimensions. Um, so this is a blow up of the of the building itself. Um, you can still see some of the setback lines, and there's an additional line which is dictating you know how close uh, this edge can come. <clears throat> so the forecourt has a has a rolling gate here, or a series of rolling gates, to at least be able to separate that off. Um, so there could be some car storage, there could be some materials uh, that are kept in that forecourt. Then there would be um, an open door or possibly a, a rolling door uh, that comes into the roof area. So the roof is covering this and you could, I'm just sizing it so that we could fit the F250 uh, in there and some of the other equipment. But it could also be cleared out and used as working space that's, that's still protected from, uh, from the elements. And then driving through that, you'd have the two, the two enclosures. This is really the enclosure of the conditioned area, the, the uh, heated space. So we have the rolling door here and rolling door here. This is the workshop area. You have a little break room with a kitchenette and the restroom. And then these areas in the <coughs> violet are, uh, are storage areas. And, and then this rear court, which is again kind of being dictated by the curve back and just enough space to be able to store some of the materials. And then a, a gate here, <clears throat> although I think most of the traffic would be going in and out the front. 